So welcome back to this free course for YouTube on how to manage your emotions using NLP. And today I wanna to talk about something called the ADEPT strategy. And this can be used to process your emotions in a healthy way so that you can return to a much more positive base. Hi, I'm Stephen Burns from MindSchool, and today I want to continue this free course for YouTube on how to manage your emotions using NLP. Now, these lessons can be watched in isolation, but in order to get the most out of them, I would strongly urge that you watch the entire series, so I'll include the links to them in the description below. But today I want to take you through an overall strategy, an overall model, something I call the ADEPT strategy, that can be used to process your emotions in a much more healthy way. So let's get started with it. So the ADEPT model is an acronym and it stands for accept, disconnect, explore, project and thank. So let's go through each of the different steps. So first of all, you want to accept and acknowledge your emotions. Whenever you're in a bad place, you're feeling some sort of bad feeling, one of the worst things that you can do is to try to change that feeling too quickly. Because I don't know if you've noticed, but we tend to make really, really bad decisions when we feel bad. If you think back to a time when you've made a bad decision in your past, there's a very good chance, not always, but a lot of the time it is, that you might not have been in the best of places emotionally. So that's not the time to try to quickly change something. We need to do a couple of other steps first of all. Also, what people often do is they'll try to fight and reason with their emotions. And again, I don't know if you've noticed, but this really doesn't work. It just ends up adding a layer to the problems. You end up just having some sort of weird argument with yourself, and it just ends up making the problem even worse. One of the big parts of you know a, a negative emotion and feeling bad about it is the reaction that we have to those negative feelings. It's the escalation process. So you don't want to try to change it too quickly. You definitely don't want to fight with it. You don't want to reason with it. So instead, the first step is to simply just acknowledge and accept it. Now, you're not accepting it in the long term. You're just doing this in the short term just so that you can temporarily take the sting out of the feeling just to diffuse it first and foremost. So that's the first step where you acknowledge and accept. So the second part is where you disconnect. When we have some sort of bad event or some experience that we don't like that's making us feel bad, we need to allow a period of time, almost like an incubation period, for our head to clear so that we can actually think about it in a more useful and in a much more objective way. And it's like, you know, the advice that your granny used to give you. I don't know if your granny used to give you advice. You know, if something bad happens, you know, don't react. Don't make a decision in haste. Just take a step back, just allow a little bit of time, take a few deep breaths, and then once things start to clear, once things start to settle, you can then look on and make some sort of assessment, some sort of interpretation, or some kind of decision. So this is what you want to do. You want to disconnect. Once you've accepted, once you've acknowledged it, you want to just take a step back, take a few deep breaths, and then look at it from a more objective place. So ways to do this. Well, one of the great ways is just to do something random. Because what this does is it breaks the pattern. When we get pulled into some kind of negative place and we start to feel bad, then it's often a case that we're playing out a pattern. There's some sort of set sequence of things that are happening that are actually triggering and pulling us into that bad place. Maybe you're spending too much time on social media and you start to think, oh my God, they've got such better lives than me. And it takes you into a horrible little rabbit hole and before you know it, you feel bad. So when you become aware that you're feeling these feelings, if you just do something random, something that breaks the, the normal day-to-day -day cycle, something that breaks the routine. So maybe you go out for a walk or you go out for a run or maybe you go for a swim or maybe you look in the mirror and grin insanely. I know that sounds weird, but honestly, it's totally random and it will actually work. Or maybe you jump about and do a wee dance. That's, that's what I do. Um, anything that breaks the routine. And what this does is it breaks the pattern and it creates this feeling of disconnecting, that incubation period, so you can allow your head to clear. Another way that you can disconnect, and this is more of an advanced strategy, is something called the dissociation technique. So I actually covered that technique in last week's lesson. If you want to check out, I'll put a link to it in the description below if you want to watch that lesson. 
So that is the second stage where you disconnect, and this allows you to lessen the intensity of the feelings, clear your head a little bit, so you can look on objectively and do the third stage, and that is explore. One of the reasons why negative emotions tend to stick, and I've talked about this a few times throughout this training, is that we're not really listening. Our negative emotions act as warning systems. They're trying to tell us that something isn't quite right in our world, or they're trying to get some kind of message across to us. So if we don't listen, if we just push on regardless, or if we fight those emotions, it's a very unhealthy way to process them. In fact, you're not really processing them if you do that, then usually the emotions just stay in the background or resurface after a portion of time. So what you want to do is, now that you've cleared your head and you're looking on objectively, you want to look on and you want to explore for greater meanings, realizations, and learnings. So you want to look on to the bad experience you're having or whatever it is that's going on in your life, and you want to go, okay, so what is there to learn here? What's really going on? What realizations about this situation would allow me to let go of this emotion and move forwards? Or what is this emotion attempting to tell me? What's it attempting to do for me? If I was to change my behavior or change my lifestyle in some way that would honor this emotion and allow it to release, what would that change be? Very, very useful questions. So when you do this, you often get a really big release because like I said, you're honoring the emotion. You're listening to what it's attempting to tell you and you're actually taking action. That's a really healthy way to process your emotions. So that is the explore part. You then move on to the next stage and that's where you project. So this is where you take the, the learnings, the insights, the realizations you got from the explore stage and you imagine using them at some point in the future. And this can give us another really crucial and powerful release. When we take something from our bad experiences or when we listen to our emotions and then actually put the learnings to use, this can often be the final stage that leads us to resolution and allows us to leave that emotion behind and return to this much more positive base. So you want to go, okay, so what is the emotion attempting to tell me? What did I learn from this bad experience? And then inside your mind, you want to imagine putting that learning into practice at some stage in your future. So an example of this could be something like criticism. Criticism often feels really bad in the moment, but when we allow our head to clear, where we step back and take a few deep breaths, and we look on from a more objective and mature standpoint, we can start to get some learnings. We can glean some really good stuff from the criticism that we can then use to improve our performance in the future. Or even workplace stress, you know, I've said this previously, workplace stress is often a signal that you need to calm down, you need to readjust your work schedule, or you need to think about work in a different way. So if you can take some of the learnings, that's what the emotion is attempting to tell you, and then imagine readjusting your schedule in the future or approaching work life in a different way, then you're honoring the emotion and you're putting the learning to good use. So that is project where you imagine inside your mind's eye, what would it be like in the future if I was to apply these learnings to make my life better? And usually when you do this, you just get another really, really good release. So that is the, the P where you project. And the last stage is where you thank the emotion. Now, I know this sounds super cheesy. What I'm going to suggest you do is you kind of you look at the emotion and you go, OK, thank you. No, I didn't like the feeling, but you were attempting to give me something positive. I've heard you, I've honoured it. Now I'm going to change my lifestyle, change my behaviour or whatever. So thank you. And I know this sounds a little bit California-esque, you know, let's all sit down with our emotions and play guitar and sing Kumbaya. Um, that's not the way I mean it to be, but it's more the sentiment behind it. Often what we'll do is we'll fight our emotions or we'll reason with them or we'll hide from them. But if you actually really appreciate what they're attempting to do for you, it's a much more healthy way to process them and you can genuinely say, okay, thank you. Thank you for letting me know about that. I've done something about it or I'm going to do something about it. So I'm really glad you made me feel this. It can just be the final piece that allows you to let go of that emotion and then move forward. So that is the ADEPT strategy. Really, really powerful. Give it a go. The more that you practice it, eventually you can do this really quickly so you can process your emotions in a healthy way and return to that much more positive base. So that's all for this lesson. Give the ADEPT strategy a go. And of course, if you could like and subscribe to the channel, if you're new here, that would be absolutely fantastic. So enjoy putting this into practice and I'll see you later on. Mm -hmm.